Hello there! Welcome, my name is IK Games, and today we're going to be doing the final piece of the bottom floor of the Castle Keep map encounter. Yeah, more or less. Keeping everything unedited and just keeping everything raw. If you want to have the process, again, enjoy me going through my thought process. Maybe get some ideas out of it. Went ahead and, as you can obviously see, did the uh, basic ground laying work, the annoying things requiring the other map. Uh, thinking I could just pass a little bit of time, reduce the video length, you know, stop annoying people with dreadful rambling. But today we're going to be going, let's go ahead and get the carpet out of the way. We're going to need that, are we not? I didn't do that earlier. Why? Because I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do with the carpet. Glass, metal, metal, nature, nature, props, carpet. Now, it's going to be going all the way to the over, yes. But, the question is, how far do we want it to actually go? I say, have it go, continue the hallway kind of approach. Then, branch down. And we can use this carpet as maybe the entire underlying floor for where the tables are. Everything else. So, using it as a five, maybe not. Having it be like a runway, that would work. Just continue with the runway kind of mentality. It's going to be a very large room. Now let's go ahead and finish picking off... No, that's not what I picked. Go to edge. Go to the end here. And continue with the hallway until we do not need it anymore. Which should be about right there. Now it'd work it. Mm. Keep it, keep it uniform. Now, it will go in. People can have the large seating arrangements. It will be fairly large. So, we will probably have it going in that regard. It does go all the way down. Because it will be the uh, actual kitchen area. So, main hallway leading into it. Let's see here. Main entrance right there. We're going to need the edge to continue the walls. It's going to be needed to go here. Going to need to go all the way up. Getting the room design aspect out of the way. I'll open that up as we need to. Hmm. Now that's a good question. Does it need to go that close? Probably not. That's yes. So instead I will do this. I'll have it back off one. I'm going to have to redo the carpet of course. But that's fine. I can't do either one. So I might as well do a one paint and uh, edge. And then just uh, paint everything over. Again. Not that bad. Going to need you to do that as well. Continue up here. Going around there. Adding a bit of a walkway kind of appeal to things. There. There. That works. So, we're going to need to create the edge being here instead. Keeping the open combsy kind of feeling. Going to need to have the servant's entrance to the south. Royalty entrance to the north. Going to need to still have the larder area. Which will probably just be here. Cutting it directly across. It's going to be more of a simple room design aspect. This could be kind of like a little waiting area. It could, just, it could be maybe some decorations. Maybe another little fountain in this area. The uh, lady of the castle having a, a particular peak of interest. I had this be the instant room. Be an important room. Uh, we could have everything being hidden in the larder. Either way, let's get the hallway out of the way. Let's get the hallway decorations. Keep the lock. 
keep it go. Let's do one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. Have it right there. One, two, three, four. And then have one there. Have it there and there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's even, so we can't really place anything unless we want to place it there, which we brought as well. Adding that variety to the area. That'll do. Now, candle bra, chandelier, candle bra. The candle bra. Keeping to the original size. It may not be exactly the same size as the others, but this is fine. Keeping the light source, making it so you have the good interior lighting. There'll be chandeliers and the like in these larger rooms, denoting, well, light of itself. Or you could have it be dark. You can have these uh, lights, magical darkness parading the entire castle, or otherwise. Now, there's no door here. There's a door on the other side of here. There's no door down here, but there's a door here on the other side, so I don't need to do anything with that. Now, let's go with the table. It's not liking me. Table. See if we can have a large, grand table type. Table long, maybe something fancy. That'll do. Uh, having it just under the 10, we can have it spread out. Let's see here. Large area decorations. This seems to be a nice entrance. Having it shortly over. I think I'll do that. Have it overlapping slightly. Delete that. Hmm. Denoting that it is okay, it is a few tables on top of each other. Maybe I can get better tables than that. Tables, large. Be fancy tables. Let's see. Wood. Any of them that fit better? Large. I mean, that would work. Delete. How does it look at the end? How about I just don't lock it and I manually drag it in? Still looks a little bit off. Very well. It will be a stack of what it is. Delete, delete. Rotate it around. There we go. Just a simple, nice end table. Uh, we'll be using the Candle bra, though. Be placing them, keeping to the same size, same dimensions, in the center, the center, and the center. Now, continuing with the theme. Be nice, decorated, uh, maybe keeping to another rug-type style carpet down here. Carpet floor, let's see how this looks. That doesn't look too bad at all. Too bad it looks better vertical than it does sideways. Hmm, maybe not that carpet. Plastic stainless, carpet flooring. That would work. I can see that being a thing. Hmm. A caustic ceiling, rubber, rubber. I guess we'll just continue with this. Have a 5x5. Uh, five five. Going, going, going. All the way to the end. It is not exactly an equal distant room. But this is fine. Uh, mixing of the carpets. They would still have. Most likely. Marble going around the outer sides. There we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. 
Mm, not exactly equal distance, is it? Maybe I need to bring it down so that way. You can have that, that, that. Delete, delete, then delete. Let's see here. Having it so that you have three and a half, three and a half, that'll work. Now delete that one, and then do a flip. There we go. Grab it, delete it, move it over. Center, 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 there we go. Equal distance all the way around. Now, getting some chairs. What kind of good chairs would they have? Probably something on the uh, carved side. There we go. Not exactly too fancy. Head of the household sitting here. Equal distancing. Could pack that in a bit harder. But you can have it be decorated as you will. I think I'll leave it open for now. Because in my setting, it would be something to explore, not exactly something else. Let's get a double doors going. Uh, traditional studded doors. That would work. Place them right there and there. Nice, simple decor. Statues. Statue guards. Be using these. Need to shrink them down. A little bit slightly larger. Be placing there. 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 Ah, uh, place it here. Place it there. There, there. As for any in the interior, let's see. Would they have any crazy statues inside the interior? Hmm. Why would they not? That's a better question. Uh, some lions in the corners. Maybe that's their family sigil. Who knows? Could be one way or the other. Let's not do structures. We won't need this interior, will we? Unless there's a... Chandelier. Let's do that. Let's let's have a uh, chandelier placement system. That'll work. And that they can uh, have it just existing. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Having it about halfway, equal distant, randomly placed. Anything particularly from the up here that we'd need? No. Miscellaneous, vegetation space, black and white, arches, awnings, bags, barrels and kegs. We will need these. We will need these. We will require a few. Have it stack off to the side. It cracks big. Have them large. Have it placed at the end. Let's see, any more stacks? Ah, yes, having some large barrels. Large barrels. In case they need any ale. Uh, open for water. Just a double rack of smaller size. Maybe there be somebody hidden inside, or maybe it'd be an, a secret entrance into the, or secret exit for the dining room set. Uh, stacks of barrels. We've already gone through several barrel stacks. Is there anything else really in here? Nope. I guess we're done with barrels. Bars. Not particularly. No bedrolls. Maybe. Nah, no cracks. No books needed. Bottles. Boxes and containers. If we get a stack of boxes, it'd be great. Not that it's gonna stack. That'd be a little bit overkill. A uh, few worn crates uh, being on a uh, larger side. Uh, stacking. Stacked into the corner. 
There, 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 there we go. You can see that they're obviously stacked a bit on the neat side. Uh, having some variety wouldn't hurt. And I can delete that, place it there, grab that, delete, place it there, grab that. Hmm. Have a newer crate placed here. Delete, delete, grab, delete, place. Maybe some of the newer crates should be placed it on top. Crates, I believe we should be okay. Do I need to have anything particularly interesting in here? Potentially, no. Nothing needs to be too crazy. Nothing needs to be too exaggerated. Uh, adding a few baskets on these random assortments. Uh, just uh, just the random items. Needing uh, maybe a couple of bowls stacked up from the back area back here. Small little bowls placed. Yes. Could be fruits, could be bowls, could be vegetables. Uh, random, random little bucket. Uh, have it in the end there. Be good, 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 good. Uh, bridges, burials, bushes, cages. Yes, put a cage inside the lotter. Uh, hides, carts, chairs, chests. Would they bother having any of these? No. Coins, vegetables. Forging could get something back there. Probably not. Let's continue with the crates then. Uh, crates of chickens, fruits, uh, keep the chickens alive, don't worry about the chickens, don't worry too much about the chickens, that is, uh, stack, putting that there, now trying to fill out the large room such as this would be slightly difficult with everything else that can go in here, so we may have to just go heavy with the barrels and boxes, flags, flares, food, and kitchen. Now, the question is, can you go heavy with this? Uh, would they have bowls placed? They probably have better tables than this, really. Uh, they would have bowls, so I guess I would need bowls. Uh, being fairly on the smaller size, place that there, but I'm going to need a table from you. Maybe a... Uh, Older table, perhaps. It's just going to be a stack of uh, bowls. Placed uh, precariously. Randomly. Maybe not exactly. Oh boy. I did need the table. Table, table, table. Kitchen, table. Kitchen, table. You gotta go back through. No, 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 no. I don't want to delete the table. That's being annoying. Table. Go back in there. Good. It's gonna be a bit of a... Hmm. Maybe you should have it closer to the front. Denoting the yes, ass. That would work better. So I could have the bowls... Already a few bowls placed, but they'd need more. Having them placed there. Cooking pots, clays, frying pans. Uh, this being uh, just uh, just stacking it a little bit. Uh, placing some frying pans here. So if I stack the two frying pans on top of each other, that'd be good. Spare oven, kitchen works, kitchen staff. 
Open bag. Yes, I would like to have some bags and sacks, if you don't mind. Seafood smashed. Torches. Let's say... Sack. Uh, cutter pie. Boxes, barrels, sacks. Here we go. Not exactly pertaining to the grid. It would work, so... Easy with the food in the kitchen. Everything's going to be stored. Anything lively related, meat related, uh, unless it be preserved inside of a barrel safely, would not be pertaining to rot. So, keeping with the uh, traditional theme of things, let's have placed here a little fountain area. Uh, get a bench placement. Ah, uh, here we go. Place there. Place there. Place there. Pla no, 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 no. Uh, maybe a little bit of a waiting area. It's just a uh, bypassing area for structural security reasons. Uh, having little choke points, perhaps. A uh, fountain, a little rest area that the servants like to use. Uh, maybe a decoration for a garden, like an interior garden. Uh, being for the lady or lord, you can do as you will. No need for more fountains, games. Speaking of gardens, there's a couple of flower boxes. Let's do that. Let's add a little bit of variety to the end here. Flower box. Keeping pertaining to... The decorum. Yes, good. Looking nice, looking lovely. Next, eh, that should be good enough. A little bit of flowing water into the plants. Gardens, gates, gears, ghost crafting. Hatches, maybe to a cellar, mayhaps. Cellar being a uh, small room for the winery. That works. You'd have to be a, uh, a decently little small hatch. Go in right there, get some uh, wine. Wine rack, here we go. This is really what I wanted. Nah, a little bit too large. Having... Whew, even though I would like that. I would like a wine rack. Hmm. It's not exactly going to work. Track. Clothes. Kitchen. Rack. This would work. Having. Uh, I believe the kitchen utensils placed. And stored. In an area. Bit of an open thing right there. Maybe they're getting out, getting ready for a meal. Immediately, huts, keeps, letters, letters, libraries inside. Probably not. Let's they be taking breaks inside the larder. Or if I'm getting larder, the entire thing wrong. Food storage place. Oi, brain. It's it's called food storage, so we'll go with that. Uh, shelves and cupboards, cupboards. That would work instead. You could have this be the, uh, this being the ale, this being the, uh, brew, this being the wines. Have it particularly placed across the end there. Uh, fine. Whining, dining, all of the sorts of things. They have anything like that? Most likely not. Glass? No. Yeah, pantry cupboards. If it looked better, I probably would. Shelves, shelves. Ooh. I do like you though. Just to uh, round things out a bit. To add a little bit of flavor text. Things need to be cooled. Things need to be have saltpeter. Uh, I believe you'd be salt, Peter. Have it down below in the cellar area. You can use your own custom map for that. You could say it's a small area. There's nothing of interest in there. Or you can uh, play tabletop and uh, describe it as you see fit. That works out fairly well, having uh, 
Maybe. Maybe. Cab. Cab. No, no. Cabinet, maybe? Going in the middle? Hmm. Center of the room? Nah. No need. Now, I feel we need to do more interior. In here. Siege cannons? Yes, I have a couple of cannons aging at the door. Stages. Curtains. Maybe. Depending on the curtain. No statues. I guess we'll be going with the traditional statue set then. Uh, sword up. Sword down. And then uh, sword down. Each each kind of statue, sword up, signals offense. They would be traveling out. Sword down, signals defense. Or the opposite. I believe we are more or less good to go. This may be one of the shorter ones. Let us continue looking around. Uh, murder mystery, you can add a splash, splash here. You could have everybody be poisoned. Who poisoned the local lord? Who poisoned the king? Who poisoned the prince, princess, as you will? Everything's looking fairly well together. Nothing in here. Don't really want to do any stunning circles. Uh, benches. Um, walls. Tables broken. Gambling. Drow tables. I gotta save that for my uh, Underdark campaign. Ever do Edge of the Dark, uh, Out of the Abyss, it'll be a, a good, a good time. A very, very good time. What is this? This is a fairly nice preset. I may use that later. Tables, yes, this is where all the tables come from. We don't need any more tables. Taverns, maybe some trophies. Lighting the walls off into the back. I believe not antlers. Here we go. This would be a good one for it. And have it placed just off the back. A dragon or a large lizard beast. A wyvern, if you don't really want to go for dragons. Head sitting in the back. Hovering over the table. You could have it be a minotaur. Oh, there's a bear trophies. That adds a bit more flavor to the room. I don't think I like the chandeliers. I don't like having anything that obstructs the top-down view. Paintings, sacks. Where's the worm? That's the wyvern. Hmm. Maybe I like the wyvern better. Wyvern does feel more at home. Having it sitting there. Yes, there we go. Having a nice wyvern save. Tents, torches, braziers. They would have some fireplaces in here, wouldn't they? They would have a, They would have some. And it would be, I believe, lightly decorated. You need anything in the uh, larder area? No. In keeping with a traditional... Fireplace. Goes a little bit on the small side. Keeping it. Hold on. Keeping it uniform. No, I did it. I did it again. I just had them both backwards. Do that. Then do the flip. There we go. Entryway. Keeping it simple. Uh, adding decorations as you should please, flowers and whatnot. Uh, f fire big, traps. There goes this little alarm I've got. Okay. Uh, no traps, no trees, no weapons needed, cocoons, wood. A two minute tabletop is great. Like using these, you want to go for the co uh, cartoon feel. Textures, chairs, fountains. Maybe. Having a uh, fountain wouldn't really be needed in the middle unless you want to spring a trap. Having uh, water weird sprue out of the fountain uh, as a rogue magician or the uh, magician from the other map has uh, betrayed everybody. Market, other planets. We're going into sci fi. So, no crystals, no crates needed. I believe then. 
that we are good to go. This being the first floor completed, maybe trade out the lion statues. That wouldn't be a bad idea. No, I believe I'll leave them in. Uh, large statues denoting... Let's look through the statues one more time. Maybe there'd be a better choice than lions. Maybe you need to go the other way. Statues. Go up through here so I can see a larger version of it. Not an altar, not Anubis. Castle. Gods. Troop. Devil statues. Hands. Gargoyles. Foot. Yes, have giant feet when you're trying to eat. That won't be ruining appetite at all. Especially if it starts to smell randomly one day. Ooh, quite embarrassing. Quite embarrassing indeed. Lion statue it does look it doesn't look too bad in there. Hmm. Maybe there'd be nothing else really of virtue. Nothing else of like nothing else of great design. Generics and that, yes. So that'll work. That'll do. Alright. So this wraps up the first floor. The next part being the second floor is probably going to be I want to say uh, it's going to be the upper rampart area. So it's going to have two towers for the interior. It's going to have the upper towers. And uh, it's going to be partially encased. There will then be the ramparts that will go exactly like this. The, it will be inaccessible for the interior. Going up and around. And it will more or less be the two-floor map only for the sake of if you want to do an exterior siege or anything like that, have some good fight going on, breaking in, or you want to have some thieving going on if you want to scale the walls. Uh, normally, they would have the four corners, but for this, we're doing a little exception. I will probably in the future create that massive four-corner map. That way, it'll be a three-by-three three grid, this being a two-high, three-wide just making a uh, simple lesser lord, lesser nobleman's keep slash castle slash mansion home to keep it simple, keep things small for those who don't want to go too large, don't want to get too involved, or just one of those one-offs, or maybe a repetitive theme, you changing the uh, descriptions that you see from the maps. Again, keeping things pretty open, keeping the uh, a lot of the details. You can change the statues looking completely different each time. Like I said, they are different beings with different species, depending on the kingdom having different species. Uh, dominant for noble society, uh, having the elves, having dwarves, uh, dragonborns, having them running around, having it being a paladin society, mage, arch mage hierarchy society, have it be a mercenary society, uh, being strength priority overall, having necromancy being your primary arc, have these be skeletal remains be inside of these things, and you notice a dark glow from inside, a dark whitish glow. A, a, a dim white glow, is better to say, from the eyes as you walk by as they track your movement. Very nice. But I'm going to go ahead and leave that here. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, if you like it, dislike it, please put it below. Thumbs up, thumbs down, all the usual stuff. If you want to see more, subscribe. I'll do doing the rest of the castle in due time. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.